Okay, I have found another one for the Spitfire selection box. I was just doing, I'm recording this on the, where's the other end, 22nd of December. Now, <clears throat> I was doing my shopping the other day, just basic food shopping, and I saw this magazine, Hobble Histories. It's, Hobble Histories, I mean, something that's been going in the UK for ages. I read them as a kid, they're great. And stuff like the gorgeous Georgians, the uh, vicious Viking, the frightful First World War, the Blitz Brits, loads of brilliant ones. Um, Terry Deary is a brilliant um, person. If you want to just get an idea of history, give, give kids interested, brilliant thing to give them. And because I got a TV show out, I mean, it was really good. Um, they do a magazine for it, obviously. Yeah, it's quite good actually. You know, you get little bits and bobs in there. A terrible TV guide, what's on over Christmas? Except it's not. No. Um, but it had a freebie on the front cover. What is that, ladies and gentlemen? What is that, I hear? It's another Spitfire. And this is a free gift. It has come out just before Christmas. So, I thought that this was another contender for the Spitfire selection box. So it's a free gift, so this is absolutely free. You just have to buy the magazine. Just sounds like one of those adverts you hear on the telly, but there you go. Um, to put together, it's just you push the propeller into that, and you get paints in there. You have a green, a brown, a blue, and a red, which immediately, this is better than the graphics kit. So, let's take this over the model desk and see what it looks like. Come with me. Okay, we're over at the model desk. Um, this one is the Ravel one, just still drying off. I'm recording this the same day. Hence the same jumper. Um, so, let's have a look at this. Packaging is just, you know, what you'd expect on the front of a uh, magazine, but it's held in there nice. Let's get into it. That's the look of it. The problem with this sort of packaging, though, is you're always left with the thing completely enclosed in plastic and you just ripped away the cardboard. Let's try this again, Joe. More cardboard. And um, that's the last of the cardboard. So now we have a play. <laughs> Come on! There he goes. Well, it's actually not bad, actually. So you get in there your brush, only a little small one. Four separate pots of acrylic paint. I'm guessing these are going to be similar to the graphics one. Um, but four little pots of paint. You have a nice complete Spitfire fuselage, and it does actually look like a Spitfire. And since this is a free one, you don't need any glue. You have a propeller, which literally just goes like that. There you are, that's a build video done. And it spins! The only downside is there's no landing gear, so... What hell. But, yeah, it's one click thing from the seat, pool of it. So, we have green and we have brown. But first of all, I think what I might do, I'll do my trick I did on the Ravel, I'll do the propeller in black, and we'll have a go at marking up for the canopy. Um, no, we won't because I haven't got my pencil with me. Right, let's have a go, just get some camouflage on, shall we? Me. Yep, yeah, they are very similar to the graphics paints from the looks of it. Very, very similar, very, very thick and gloopy. Hey, my toothpicks going mental. I cannot pick up anything today. Actually, I was wrong. It looks thick and gloopy, but it's actually just about right. It's a bit on the thick side, but not too bad. Let's put some on and see what it's like. The brush picks it up all right, which is always good. It's a bit of a thick brush, but... What do you expect? I mean, like I said, this is a freebie. I'm just throwing this in because 
you can. I mean, if you do buy this magazine for uh, the kids, they do actually say, you know, once you're painted up, send us a picture in of your fully completed Spitfire to bloody bloody blah, bloody blah, blah 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 blah, which I'm not going to do, obviously. But I'm just going to quickly show. I mean, this is, it is reminding me a lot of the graphics, the painting wise, it's reminding me of the graphics a lot. Oops, a bit more canopy, but I'm going to do that in different colour anyway. But it is actually not that terrible. I have had a few sort of freebie kits before, and they've been sort of more the airfix type, but this is literally just two part moulding you put together. But it's none the worse away for that because it looks just like R.J. Mitchell designed it to be. A lot of people do say with the um, Spitfire it came directly from the Schneider Air Race trophy um, racing seaplane. And some of the design is borrowed from that, yeah, but he's a different kettle of fish. Entirely the Spitfires. Um, let's do that one there. So, this is what I said with the graphics one, I thought I might have to speed up, and I did in places, but I didn't like it because you can't actually, um, since you got to figure out copyright music and all of that lot, and I haven't got any at the minute. I've decided not to bother doing that anymore. So, you are going to watch me waffle, or I'm going to be cutting bits out of this. And um, if you say, oh no, I want to hear your voice, well, you know. If you really want to hear my croaky, fluey voice, then, you know, fine, go ahead. Everyone's to each to their own, I suppose. Everyone has their own opinions of what they like and what they don't like. So. This is just a bit on the tail. And there we are. That's the first lot on. That was the green I put on. The brush is quite nice actually, and, and the paint side, well they're better than the graphics ones. Which you had to pay for. And that's just very quick, very simple. I like it. Anyway, I'll finish it off and you'll see this along with the Revell one next time. Bear with me. Okay, we're on to the last review video of the Spitfire Selection Box before the final showdown. And we have here the Horrible Histories Spitfire. That's what it comes out like. I mean, I haven't painted the other side, left that white, but and I've done the thing with Sharpie again on the propeller. But, that is really good for what it is. It's just a very tiny little thing, but it looks just like a Spitfire. The paints that come with it were not as thick as I thought they were in the first place. Nice and free-flowing. Had to do a couple of coats to get it quite right in places. But, a very good little kit. And, this was a freebie with a magazine. And my only gripe with this is they didn't put, I'd have put stickers, they gave you a blue and red paint to do roundels on there. I'd have given some stickers as well, just two pots of paint on the stickers. Um, and there's no landing gear, but that's a small gripe. What I'm going to do with this, I'm going to put um, an airfix. Uh, plane stand on there and just glue it on there so it will actually be up in the air so displayed. The other thing I am going to do with this is since there's paint for roundels on there but I didn't do them from the Ravel kit since there was another option for the start the Spitfire they had two small little roundels on there for the underside really small ones and they just fit on there so I'm going to put those onto there so it's got some markings. But freebie with a magazine? 
I'd say it's got a contention for a winner in this category. See you next video. Ready for a conclusion.